Aerial combat with dragons and magic? Count me in. Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Stream channel. Today I'm looking at Century Age of Ashes on the Shadow PC. Unfortunately I did try this on a couple of the AMD virtual PCs that I have access to and it didn't work too well, but getting onto Shadow was perfectly fine. Running the high settings which I'll show you later, but I wanted to dive straight into some of the 3v3 rookie combat here just to give a quick overview of the game and we'll go into some of the other modes in a little while. But even at 1440p in high settings look at this between 50 and 80 frames per second a lot of the time here and just look at the graphics here with these dragons in combat the environment is also absolutely stunning and it takes a bit of getting used to to get the control of the dragons right but it is absolutely fantastic fun we even get unlocks and get to hatch our own dragons as an opportunity to increase our mounts and get better mounts with epic, rare and legendary mounts later on. As you can see from my settings, there isn't a lot to go with here. I did switch it to high and I thought I'd turn motion blur off, but clearly I left it on on this version. So into the other modes here, once you've gone through a few rookie matches, you can then join the 6v6. This mode is Spoils of War, but as you saw, we've got Carnage and a few other modes that we can unlock there and also rank later on. Spoils of War is great fun. This is a bit of a longer match and you have to collect coins. There's some golden dragons that carry coins and you can also steal other players coins. The name of the game is to get enough coins in your vault, but the environment is much bigger here which you'd expect for a six on six. We've got some awesome tunnels and environments around here, which really make it much more interesting and a lot more fun. Also the introduction of a lot of the special abilities. So because I'm the Phantom class, you can see that I've got a cloak ability, which is great for surprising people. And that big gas cloud is one of the other classes there. So we have three classes overall. So it really does suit your playstyle. I was quite impressed that Shadow PC was still able to perform this well at 1440p, but overall I just really enjoyed this game and this game is free to play. So do go and have a look on the Steam Store. I'm surprised it's not in the top 100 Steam games over the weekend. It really does deserve it. So if you like aerial combat or just dragons in general, this definitely is a game you want to hop into. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to check this out and what virtual PC you're going to be playing it on. It's not on GeForce now just yet, but I'm hoping as a free-to-play title it should come later down the line. If not, get on to the publishers and get it on there. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay, as I said, because it's just frantic fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming. And we will see you next time.